Welcome to another edition of Alive and, Alive and Kicking on Location. I am Lisa Marie Benz, your hostess, with the mostest, and today I'm here at Hippie Fest, hence the headband. And I'm so honored to have recording artist Gary Wright here with me for Hippie Fest. And Gary Wright is very well known for a lot of big hits. Starting with Dream Weaver, who doesn't know that one, right? <laughs> and I love all your song, songs, actually. But before we get into that, you you started out as an actor in yeah, Broadway. When I, was, when I was a child, I did. Yeah, I was on Broadway. And you even acted on Broadway with Florence Henderson, aka Carol Brady, right? <laughs> Are you still in touch with her to this, this yeah, day? I, I, I was actually got in touch with her not too long ago, and uh, although we haven't hooked up physically, we've spoken on the phone. Oh, okay. Now, also, you had um, some other hits other than Dreamweaver. You also had um, Love is Alive, which I loved that song. I liked all your music. And also, Really Want to Know You. Really Want to Know You, yeah. I still love that one. And you wrote that with, an, with another lady, Leah. I really want to know you, I wrote with Allie Thompson. Allie Thompson, okay. And then Shaka Khan. <laughs> Recorded Love is Alive. Yeah. yeah. And um, when, when, when artists want to do that, do they have to get your approval? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I could say no if I wanted, if I wanted to, if I really didn't want them to record it, but usually I don't. The only thing I, I, they have to get my approval on is if I, uh, they use a sample of one of my songs. Uh, so, I mean, just recently, Jay-Z and Connie Faye are, did a duet and they used a sample of one of the songs that I wrote when I was in the band Spooky Tooth and they had to get my approval for it. Oh, great. And then when it becomes a big hit, do you get a cut of all that? Uh, <laughs> That's great. Now, when you did these hits, especially like Dreamweaver, I'm wondering, did you have any inkling that it was going to become the big phenomenon that it did? No. I had no idea. That was just one of those cosmic events that happened. Well, I mean, I know I was talking to someone about about you, and uh, they said that you probably were able to retire from that song. <laughs> but you're still touring with Rick Derringer. So today here at uh, Hippie Fest, what what songs are you going to be performing? Any new stuff? I'll be doing, uh, well, this is kind of a nostalgia kind of uh, show. So I'm doing two Spooky Tooth songs, my first band which is Waiting for the Wind and Better By You, Better Than Me. And I'm between uh, Dream Weaver and Love Is Alive. Great. And then you also have an, a new album out called Connected. That's right. Which features Ringo Starr, Joe Walsh, and Jeff Skunk Baxter. Yeah, they do <laughs> their, their performances on the album, on the record by... by oh, them. now how can people get this? They can go, uh, they can buy it on Amazon, they can go to any to iTunes, they can probably go to some of the record stores if there are any left, but it's on the go. <laughs> Uh, but all over the web, they can get it at my website, which is thedreamweaver.com. So it's, it's available pretty much everywhere. Great! Well, I know we have that you have a big concert to do, so we won't tie you up any longer. But thank you so much for gracing us with your presence, and remember to follow your dreams, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're and, and this color is part of your your the backdrop of your website, isn't it? One yeah, of them. A little bit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I've got to run, but thank okay, you. Okay, thank luck you. With it.